It was during the World Wars that the motorcycle gained ground, being acknowledged as a reliable means of transportation that replaced horses and ensured a more effective communication with the troops. After World War II, veterans found comfort in motorcycles, a way to reconnect with the adrenaline rush they'd experienced on the battlefield, and so the first motorcycle clubs were born. The 1950s, 60s, and 70s are the textbook era of revival, creativity, attitude, and revolution. The world would soon be thrust into a time of reimagination, new ideas, and perspectives that have been brewing and festering for the last two decades, but finally see the light of day in the 50s and 60s. And the motorcycle had its own profound effects on the people and attitudes that would soon reshape the globe. Find a bumpy track, add some tough motorbikes and riders, and mix well. The result, a scramble a sport which today attracts thousands of followers and is producing British scrambling machines which are being exported all over the world. Motorcycle culture would begin to take root in societies around the world, varying region by region, but all sharing a common bond in counterculture, rebellion, and style. The company is now working on a new, more powerful scrambling bike. This 360cc model, being put through some rigorous testing on a nearby track, has taken 18 months to develop. Worldwide markets are wide open for this size of competition motorbike if it proves to be another winner. It was Monday, the first time I rode my Kawasaki to work, and on the way, well, something came over me. It's kind of hard to explain. But I was feeling so good about riding my bike, I started feeling bad about going to work. So, I didn't. In the 80s and 90s, traveling and entertainment on bikes became more of a possibility with the introduction of dirt bikes and touring bikes. People can now travel longer distances to other parts of their country with fellow riders who share the same passion. The improvement of modern day technology has provided vast opportunities to connect riders within their local communities. Expanding into the global connections, unifying riders for charitable events, local weekend meetups, and even traveling coast to coast. Motorcycle is a passion and a culture within itself. No matter the language barrier, there is always a way to find people with your same passion all over the world. People travel all across the world and all across the state to go to huge events to meet others with the same passion and the same riding culture that they possess. Bikes were once a male-dominated community. However, female riders are becoming more and more common. When you ride, there is no gender, there is no race, and there is no language barrier.